a beautiful day. There's not a cloud in the sky, and I'm going to walk through my garden. It's about 8 in the morning, around 50 degrees, and I want to show you first what I've got going on over here for my summer garden. I can't plant a lot of these out yet until a few more, about one more week, so I can start really getting busy in the garden then. Okay, over here are just some peppers I overwintered that look very sad, but there's some leaves popping out of the stem, so that's great. Maybe that will come back. That's a red Thai pepper. And then down there I have a ghost pepper. And over there's a pomegranate. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. It's just been sitting in that container for about a year and a half or maybe two years now. <laughs> okay, and golongal here, some lemongrass, purple cone flower that I need to move up to my container garden. Uh, some French tarragon that um, overwintered in my garage and is growing nicely, so it's come back to say hello this year and then some tomatoes over here and I bought two transplants one of those is a Cherokee purple and the other one is sun gold and then I also bought one more transplant I couldn't resist it it's the beef steak I always grow that every year it's so good and then this is one I'm growing from seed it's a sunrise bumblebee another cherry tomato that's yellow with I think red striping or pink stripes in it and then back there is the uh, Romanesco um, it's a Pantano Romanesco and little hearty little thing there. I'll include a link to that tomato plant and all that it's gone through But it needs to go out into the garden very soon And then over here I have just some green onions and I also popped the four Asian bean It's called the Asian wing bean in there and those popped up and I don't know what I'm going to do with them But I, sometimes I just do that to see how they'll grow Those are actually going to go up on my container garden and don't do that at home. Don't go put beans in a little bitty windowsill box, though, please. <laughs> That's a vining bean, I'm pretty sure, and I just did it for fun. So, <laughs> All right, now here's parsley. Three curly parsley plants that I grew from seed. This one's not doing too well over here, but those are doing wonderfully. I just transplanted those a couple of days ago. And then over here um, are all of my summer vegetables. These are, I'll show you what kind of tomatoes I'm growing, even though I promised myself I'd only have about four or five plants in the garden this year. Of course, I went and grew a bunch from seed, other ones that are kind of rare. Um, I have Thai red egg. Let me zoom in on it so you can see a little bit of them in the background there. Um, Thai red egg, Arkansas traveler, a couple of those, Amish paste, uh, Barnes mountain yellow, um, lemon ox heart, dwarf emerald giant, orange mints, speckled roman, and Kosovo, and another orange mint here, orange mints here. So, um, I grew, I've grown some of those before, and some of them, most of them I have not grown. So, we'll see how they do. They look really, like they're really doing well, so I'm happy about those. And over here are some Thai basil. Now, these I did not grow from seed. Um, these right here, I, um, purchased one little pot. I think it was like, you know, 350 but there were four plants in there. So I broke them apart and put them all in individual four inch pots. So I'll have four plants total. And the way you get your basils growing is you wanna go ahead and at the top, snip off that little top right there. And that's gonna get it to bush out faster. Uh, I already um, pinched off the top on that one and that one. And you can see kind of what it's gonna look like underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one too. Let's just pinch it right there. And I'll use it in something. Alright, so that's going to start growing for me real good. Back there's a purple tomatillo and a couple of fennel plants. I need to get those out. And then my son's plants here. All of his are doing really nice. They, they have got to get moved out. So he has a giant zinnia there. Look how pretty. It's big. Uh, some calendula, nasturtiums, black boy, aster. Okay. And over here I have some of my uh, cucumbers. I have four Boston pickling cucumbers that I grew last year. I'll include a link to a review on that particular cucumber if you're looking for something to grow. It's wonderful. And then the Chelsea Prize cucumber. I also um, grew that last year. I don't know if I did a review on that particular. Um, yes, I did. I think I did a review on that, so I'll include a link to that seed as well. A hyssop, two different kinds. I'm going the anise hyssop and sunset hyssop. I think they produce different color flowers, so that'll be pretty. Red Reuben Basil, Greek Oregano, and Amaranth. This is the elephant head. It's supposed to be really neat, so this is the first time I've grown that, and I can't wait to get that in the garden as well. Okay, so 
Okay, what I need to do is I saw a white cabbage moth yesterday and that tells me that I have got to treat for um, cabbage worms. So what I'm going to do is I just spray with BT. And my little signal to when I need to do this is um, when I see the worm. So what I'm going to do is put um, a tiny bit into this bottle of water here. And I, I'm going to put about, um, I lost my instructions on the back. <laughs> the little, those huge labels always fall off. I think they, they have to put all that in information on there and then you end up losing it. So I am going to put, um, let's see it's 8 ounces for 24 gallons. So I'm going to do it about an eighth of a teaspoon. I'd rather do a little bit uh, at a time. So let me do that and then I will be right back. Okay, I just added it. Now don't do what I do. Get your calculator out and figure it exactly and weigh or whatever you have to do to <coughs> measure it the way you're supposed to at home. I'm just doing this off the cuff real quick because I've got to do it. And, <laughs> and that's how I roll. So anyway, <coughs> I will spray the garden. We'll go down there in just a minute and I'm going to give them a quick spray. My kale and my um, broccoli. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's take a look. We need to cut our grass, so y'all don't look at the grass, just look at my garden. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look here and see. Here, I'm going to go ahead and spray my kale with the uh, BT, and um, let me make sure I have a spray, not a stream. Nice spray. Now, with this, um, I am spraying here. It's in the morning. I expect that it'll dry on here pretty soon. And when those little eggs hatch and they start crawling up to the top, uh, they'll, you'll find your worms right there, usually on the center vein of the leaf. They'll eat this leaf and on there will be BT, which will distort their digestive system. So they will die and I can eat the kale. Okay, so I'm gonna do my broccoli and I'll do this um, all through my garden on my broccoli and my kale because you don't want worms on your broccoli. Nothing is worse than going and having worms. When I moved here that first time I had experienced worms on my broccoli. When I lived in Florida, I never had worms on my broccoli. Okay. So thanks for stopping by my channel and I hope that you have a beautiful day and happy gardening.